What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Sunnyvale, Texas, and we are getting ready to check out the manor from Kindred Homes. Now this home is a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom home with a two car garage and sits inside of approximately 3,822 square feet. It is absolutely gorgeous. But with that, let's go ahead and get inside. Alrighty, so when you first walk in, this is the view that you are greeted with and it is absolutely beautiful. This home is massive. There are tons of things happening right here in this beautiful two-story foyer, but I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick, I'll let you check it out, and then we will get into it. So you got a nice little light fixture up there, you got the staircase over here to our right-hand side, and you got this really nice modern-looking wood door with the glazed glass looking really nice to the left hand side as you walk into the home you've got a nice little closet right here this could be a little coat closet sits right up underneath of the stairwell and it has a tons of storage room going all the way back to the back then on the opposite side right as you walk in sitting up on the front side of the house you've got this nice big office space it's got the french doors coming in here they're all dressed up in a nice black paint looking really good great big windows i love this desk too that thing looks it's got like all these metal accents going everywhere looks pretty nice then from here, as you continue to work your way down towards the, the main living space, which is pretty interesting, it runs long ways as opposed to uh, horizontal here from the foyer, which we've been seeing quite a bit of, you do have this formal dining room. It's got a, there's a thunderstorm rolling in. <laughs> I had to hurry up and get inside before it started coming down on us. Or, you know, I get struck by lightning or something. Nobody wants that. I don't anyway, <laughs> you know. Anyway, uh, continuing on all the way at the end of the foyer again, you come into the main living space. You got all types of stuff happening. We're going to go ahead and start over here in the kitchen, though. And it is, look, how, look at all of this counter space. You got tons and tons of counter space in here. You've got this great big island. There's, I don't think there's any storage now. We haven't been seeing any storage on the front of the island in the Kindred homes, but still a fun islands. And actually, this is neat. I noticed this earlier, but there were only two chairs in the middle on the first home that I toured today. But this one, it's got a little cutout down there. And as you can see, they've kind of put the chairs uh, at an angle or on the ends, which looks pretty neat. So that's interesting. On this side, let's check out these drawers. So not soft clothes, but I'm sure that's something that you could upgrade to if you wanted to. All the way at the end, you've got this trash can drawer. Then on the back side, again, you've got this nice L-shaped countertop. You've got a dishwasher and this big old stainless apron sink looking out into the backyard. And actually, you can just lift this window up right here as you're washing dishes, pass it back and forth from the grill. Maybe that's too much, but either way, nice adjustable shelves in the upper cabinets. And then you've got the gas range, the range hood. And in here, I think the, the last home, they went all the way up to the ceiling. This one doesn't. So you can do some decorating up there, but then you've also got those nice glass pane cabinets up top. So you can put off kind of your, your show pieces up there. You got this nice tile backsplash, little bitty tiles. Then into the pantry, which sits right here in the middle or in the corner. Nice wood shelves in there. And you've got the refrigerator, the microwave, and the built-in oven, along with kind of like little mini coffee space. But really nice kitchen. I love all the cabinets. But uh, before we get to the dining room, we'll go ahead and get outside and check out this back patio in the back elevation, mostly before it starts raining. <laughs> Let's see. So there is tons of room out here. You know, got the little 
Uh, sitting area set up, again, the doors slide all the way open too. Well, with the exception of the last one, but uh, so you can easily transition from inside to outside. You've got this nice outdoor kitchen space with the grill. And then backing us up, you got the brick out back, which is nice because most of the time they'll start with a brick up front and then around back, they'll bring it into vinyl. But I like to see that this one is all brick. All right, and then coming back inside, you've got the dining. This is like the less formal dining room, unless you wanted to use that other space for something else, then this would just be your dining room space. You got this nice big table light fixture coming down. And that sits just right there next to that great big sliding glass door. Then from there, you've got the living room, you've got the gas fireplace with the big old tile surround, great big windows letting in tons of natural light. And of course you've got space on either side of that. So you could put some decorations. I like these gas fireplaces with the little outlets or with the switches. Oh man, it makes it so handy to turn on. Then I'll go ahead and get you over here in this corner real quick before we go into the mud room and laundry room and stuff. Looking back across the home. Then down this hall, we'll go ahead and get down here into the mud room so you can check that out real quick. This door right here actually leads out into the garage, which is currently set up right now as offices. But you've got the washer and dryer hookups. You've got a nice little um, hanging shelf right there. And then back behind us, you've got Kind of like a whole tree, little drop zone. Hang up all your stuff. You got little cubbies down on the bottom. You've got this huge counter space right here. So if the dryer's right here, you pull those clothes out, put them right here on this counter. You got the wash basin right here, cleaning off all your dirty clothes. Then as we work back, we've got a couple different things over here as well. Um, this is the half bath as soon as you come into the home. Ooh, it's got a closet too. I almost turned around and didn't even see it. We got a little linen closet in here. <laughs> I got to talking too much in this one and uh, I have to get to filming. I gotta go pick up Jen and the baby. Maybe, maybe they're still having fun. I know there was a splash pad over there. Jen sent me a picture. Uh, Ro was in the splash pad. There was another little kid uh, hanging out with him. That was about his age. I think she said that the other kid was only like two weeks older than Rose. So they were having fun just kind of splashing around in the water. That kid loves some water, whether it's bath time or, you know, he actually around swimming pools, it takes him a second to kind of warm up. But once he gets into it, you know what I mean? He, uh, he has a whole bunch of fun. So, all right, this is, uh, this is like a little junior suite and it's en suite. You got the single vanity right here. I don't want to blow past anything. Uh, and then you also have its walk-in closet right here in the en suite. And then also, so you've got that on the first floor and then you also have this master suite. So this actually sits just off of the living room um, before you really start going down the hall to the to the garage. You got a super fun accent wall back there. Huge windows. This room is just really bright and tall, super tall ceilings. And just off of that, you've got its ensuite. So you've got these double doors right here. Huge double vanity. We'll get to more than that in just a minute. You got this little linen closet. But plenty of counter space here. You got a little spot in the middle. This would probably be like a standalone like makeup vanity. You got all these cabinets and drawers, like tons of it going all the way down. On the back side, you've got a shower. It's got a little drop down with the shower. Super funky tile. And you've got a little bench and that bench actually runs all the way along the back next to the tub. 
So on the tub, you got you can put your drinks down, your glasses of wine, all your soaps and stuff. You've got the water closet right here with the toilet. And then all the way at the back of this ensuite, you've got this huge walk-in closet. So a little bit of hum with all the modems and stuff. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I walked in here into the bathroom because I thought it was the bathroom fan that was on. So I was looking for the switch <laughs> and then I actually turned on the fan and come to find out it, that's what it was. So a little, little sidebar right there. Anyway, all right, so from here, we're gonna work our way upstairs and there's actually even more bedrooms up there. Uh, one of them I think is currently set up like uh, a theater room. So kind of give you an idea if you got the five bedroom home, you know, what you could use some of the rooms for if you didn't necessarily need it. Uh, but this is the top of the stairs on this side. And then you got a little sitting area over behind us, a view down into the foyer and dining room. But this would be the first And it doesn't have a closet. So maybe, I don't know. I only walked up here for a second. Maybe this isn't a bedroom. Maybe this is just the media room. See, now I don't know. But I love the color in here. It's nice and dark. This would be a huge room if there was a closet. And then into this kind of lofty sitting space little game room for the kids. All of this sitting up towards the front of the house and then up above the garage. I know there's a couple rooms over that way. You got a little storage closet up here just off of this game room. Tons of shelves. Unfortunately, this one is locked. I tried to open it up earlier, but I think that would be attic access uh, from right here. So. Uh, essentially additional storage up over the main living spaces downstairs. Then you also have even more attic access on the top part of where we're at right now. Oh, okay. Now I, I remember now all the bedrooms. <laughs> so there are three more bedrooms over here on this side of the house. So that one would be just like a movie theater room, but this is the first full bathroom up here. You got the single vanity toilet, and another walk-in shower. Then this bedroom is the first of the three. It actually, there's a Jack and Jill that connects this bedroom to the next one. I remembered. So that's what happens you go through so many homes. Oh man, I'm wrong again. <laughs> ah. Tim, just shut up. All right, you win. We shall now go the rest of this home in silence. No, I'm just also kidding. But I think there are still three bedrooms up here. Yes, it's this one that had the Jack and Jill. Ah, <sighs> man. That's what I get for guessing, you know what I mean? I should just go with the flow. But all these rooms, are, I think they're about the same size. And I love how all their closets got these nice built-ins too. All right, now this is the Jack and Jill. So you got a single vanity right here, and I think that is all you have. Then from there you come into kind of the water closet area with the shower, nice tile surround, not quite going all the way up to the ceiling but pretty close. You got the toilet, and then you also have a nice linen closet in here. Then this door leads into the other side. So you got another single vanity, but this one actually has the closet here in the bathroom. Again, with the built-in. And then you come into the third bedroom up here. And I'll show you where we're kind of located when you come back out into the hall. 
There goes the other bedroom and then into the law. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Kindred Homes, you can find that information right there at the top of the description. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, get pricing information, filter based off of price, square footage, number of bedrooms, all that different fun stuff, and find the perfect home for you and your family. With that, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And as always, my name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.